In this lesson on TypeScript, we will look at the difference between a generic type for a function versus a type for a generic function. If you are confused, that is fine. You'll be clear by the end of this lesson. So let's go. Here we have the two types in question. Now type A is actually a generic type. What this means is that if you try to use this type without a generic argument, you will get a type error stating that it is missing the generic argument. So if you want to use the type A, you will have to provide this generic argument. For example, you can pass in the type number or the type string or really any type depending upon the type of the variable that you are trying to annotate. Now type B on the other hand is actually not a generic type, so you can use it as is. However, if you try to pass in a generic argument to B, you will get an error that B is not generic. Now let's look at the use case of these types A and B. Now let's say you have a set of functions that take a particular type and return the same type. For example, here we have a function that takes a number and returns a number and then another function that takes a string and returns a string. Now we can actually annotate both of these functions with the same type A simply by passing in the generic argument that is relevant to the function. So the first function can be annotated as A of type number and the second function can be annotated as A of type string. On the other hand, let's look at a generic function that takes an argument of type T and returns a result of type T. This is an example of the type B. In this case, B itself is actually not generic. However, it points to a generic function. Now these two types are a fine example of something that might seem confusing at first, but you quickly develop an intuition for it. For the general form where T appears on the left hand side, the type is generic. If you want to use your type with type arguments, something like A is the way to go. Now for the general form where T only appears on the right hand side, the type is for something that is generic. If you want to specify the type for something that is generic, for example, a generic function, then B is the way to go. Now as a final note, even though we are using type aliases for A and B, the same principles apply to interfaces as well and they might actually help you understand the differences between the two a bit better. The interface equivalent for type A would be a generic interface for a function that takes a generic argument T and then has a single call signature which takes an argument of type T and returns a result of type T. Similarly, the interface equivalent for type B would be the interface for a generic function which has a generic signature that goes from T to T. The interface itself would not be generic. And that's all for this lesson on generic types versus types for generics. Smash that like and subscribe for more content like this. And leave a comment below if you have any questions. And I will see you in the next one.